Good morning, dear parents. The past two years was challenging, and I thank you for rendering your support to ensure learning doesn't stop for our children. Choosing a school which best suits your child's needs is a tough decision to make and has to be taken after a lot of deliberation. And with so many choices available in Muscat, we thank you for choosing our school and welcome you to ISWK family, where learning is holistic. Today's orientation session will give you an insight into not only the curriculum planned for the new academic year, but also to brief you on the varied scholastic and co-scholastic activities. Before we begin, it is my privilege to introduce the strong and dedicated team of ISWK. of the ISWK primary wing. The teachers of the various departments will be introduced by the academic coordinators. To present the basic guidelines of our curriculum, I now call upon Ms. Deepa and Ms. Hemlata to take us through the program for English and Hindi. A very good morning and a warm welcome to each one of you, dear parents, for the orientation for the academic year 2022-2023. Knowledge of languages is the doorway to wisdom. Learning languages extends one's horizons, makes one wiser, and allows one to live a fuller life. I, Mrs. Deepa Krishna, academic coordinator for the Department of English. And I, Ms. Hemlata, academic coordinator for the Department of Hindi, will brief you on the pedagogy of languages at classes three, four, and five. And Mrs. Lubna will assist us in the presentation. One language sets you in a corridor for life. Two languages open every door along the way. We at ISWK align ourselves to the recommendations laid down by the CBSE to teach English as the first language and Hindi as the second language at the primary level. Languages learning involves two important parts, receptive skills, and productive skills. Listening and reading are receptive skills, which focus on receiving information, whereas speaking and writing are productive skills, which focus on giving information. To achieve these skills, we have well-graded textbooks. For English, we have new images published by Pearson Publications. And for Hindi, Abir Hindi Patmala, a textbook come workbook for grades three, four, and five. 
let's have a look at the strategies we follow to achieve these skills. Everybody admires and loves a good listener. Let us begin with the skill of listening. Here, the objective is that the child should be able to decode the meaning of an audio string or understand the spoken language. To enable the students to acquire this skill, we have oral comprehensions and listening exercises. Next, we move on to the reading skill. The child should be able to decode the meaning of a written string. It's very important for a person to possess excellent oratory skills, which can be achieved by good and extensive reading. We follow various strategies for reading, like model reading, choral reading, complementary reading, silent reading, and reading of comprehension passages. Moving on to the next skill, that is speaking skill. The child should be able to encode thoughts and concepts into oral form. If you can speak, you can influence. If you can influence, you can change lives. This is exactly what a good teacher does to enhance the speaking skill of the students. The students listen and learn the correct pronunciation and annotation of words spoken by the teacher. Some of the interesting activities which we conduct to enable the student to acquire this skill at the grade level are picture talk, just a minute, show and tell, storytelling, public speaking, character speaks, turn code, and recitation. My ideas, my voice was well received and appreciated by students. Hence, we are going to continue this year also. And now we move on to the most important skill, the writing skill. The child should be able to input thoughts and concepts into written form. This skill requires a lot of patience, excellent vocabulary, as well as grammatical proficiency. Children will need to maintain two notebooks each for both English and Hindi, and one for prose and another for language. The topics covered in prose and language are displayed on the screen. In prose, they are going to do Chitra Sule, handwriting and illustration, Shabdat, word meaning, Vakya Rachna. Prashnotar and Arthagranatmak Prashna. And in language, they are going to cover noun and kinds, pronoun, adjectives and kinds, verbs, tenses, adverbs, prepositions. And apart from this, in Hindi, they are going to cover Paryayavachi, Vilom, Ling, Bachan, related to the prose lessons. Worksheets are also provided to reinforce the structures learned. All the worksheets will be uploaded in MCB. Creative writing is also pro promoted by providing the end learners with ample writing activities like picture composition, paragraph writing, story writing, comic strip. Children are encouraged to maintain a diary once they learn diary entry. Art integration that is, art integration learning is not only interesting, but also enables the students to develop creative skills. Teaching through art can present difficult concepts visually, making them easier to understand. Artificial intelligence is a technical approach to enhance teaching and learning. It's a new way of understanding or perceiving information. It helps children to identify the correct pronunciation of the words and enhance their vocabulary. Tools used for this are Google Assistant, Google Lens, and Google Earth. All assessments is perpetual work in progress. 
we have four assessments in an academic year that is pre midterm midterm post midterm and final assessments along with two subject enrichment activities and two notebook evaluation the breakup of the marks are, is displayed on the screen let's have a glimpse of some of the activities and the competitions that were successfully conducted online during the academic year 2021-2022 We are proud to inform you all that our children have excelled at the international level in the competitive exams like Science Olympiad. Healthy competitions inspire kids to do their best. It helps them to reinforce the skills they have acquired over a period of time. This year, we will be condu conducting the following competitions. Class 3 English, we have storytelling and just a minute. And in Hindi, it is role play. For class four, we have character speaks and public speaking. And in Hindi, it is just a minute. For class five, we are going to have turn code in English and elocution in both English and Hindi. Whenever there is competition, children will be informed well in advance through a circular or a flyer. Let me introduce you all to the teams which are enthusiastically working with the children to achieve our goals. We have the dedicated vibrant department of English show. It's Mrs. Batul, Mrs. Lynn, Mrs. Amlu, Mrs. Aditi, Ms. Jayalakshmi, Mrs. Annie, Mrs. Farah, Mrs. Usha, Mrs. Lubna, Mrs. Jamma, Mrs. Sheba and the passionate creative teachers from the department of Hindi who are going to teach grades three, four and five are Mrs. Jagjit Kaur, Mrs. Usha Rai, Mrs. Anuradha, Mrs. Sarita Sharma, Mrs. Rizwana Begum, Mrs. Sangeeta Sharma, Mrs. Jaspreet Kaur and Mrs. Anjana Srivastava. We teachers believe that we always have the potential to progress and refine our teaching skills. There is always more to learn and new skills to attain. Hence, we attend various workshops to keep ourselves updated with changing times. At the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. Dear parents, please ensure that your child attends the class regularly, practices what is done in the class, and completes the assignments on time on regular basis. Parents, we would like to inform you all that our syllabi have been planned considering that children are attending the physical classes after a gap of two years. The syllabus will be reviewed from time to time based on the progress made by the students and the necessary measures will be taken. Connecting home and school makes us a great community of learners. Let us give our children the roots to grow and the wings to fly. Thank you. May I request Mrs. Bandana Thakur to take over the proceedings.
Good morning, dear parents. On behalf of Department of Mathematics, Good morning, dear parents. On behalf of Mathematics Department, I, Mrs. Bandana Thakur, along with Mrs. Mini Henry, welcome you to the math orientation for classes three, four, and five. Mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about understanding. At last, after two years of virtual teaching and learning, we are now back to our conventional method. Digital learning undoubtedly made our students self-motivated and more accountable, as digital learning is far more interactive and memorable than voluminous textbooks. But the traditional approach, often referred to as the chalk and talk method, involves direct instructions by the teacher whose primary role is to facilitate learning. Chalk talks work well to engage learners, expose them to different perspectives, help to make students independent, allow all students to have an equal say, and encourage problem solving and critical thinking. This helps students to be involved with all four C's of 21st century learning, collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. Technology is merely an augmentation for a teacher. It can help the process of learning, but it certainly cannot replace the role of a teacher. A teacher leads, guides, facilitates, and mentors a student. Our reason at ISWK is to create an environment of stress-free learning that instills self-responsibility and commitment towards life. This dream comes to true through the action of our dynamic and vibrant team of teachers who work effortlessly and selflessly to make learning a joyful experience. Let us meet our team of mathematics teachers. Myself, Mrs. Bandana Thakur, Mrs. Mini Henry, Mrs. Bindu John, Mrs. Sagaya Mary, Mrs. Jyoti Singh, Mrs. Flavia Castellino, Mrs. Sudha Joshi, Mrs. Manjula Harinarayan, Mrs. Midat Fatima, Mrs. Poonam Joshi, Mrs. Raina Peter, Mrs. Soumya Nair, Mrs. Bibi Kuteja, Mrs. Beda Vijay, Mrs. Anjali Barla, Mrs. Rashmi Kashlikar, and Mrs. Jema Shah. Our main objective of teaching mathematics is to mathematize the students. Now, what does mathematize mean? To mathematize means to regard something in light of mathematics to understand that everything around us is mathematics, to create a mathematical mindset so that we can look at things logically. The students will develop an understanding of the basic concept of numbers, the four basic operations, and geometry. They will explore mathematics around them. They will learn how to collect, interpret, and represent data and information. They will appreciate the beauty of mathematics, develop self-confidence, become a successful problem solver, and learn how to think and connect mathematics to their daily life. A textbook is an important tool for learning mathematics. A textbook 
is the basic teaching material to achieve the educational objectives and standards of knowledge defined in the curriculum of the catalog of knowledge. We follow the math textbook, New Math Time by Korean Blackshaw. The book, New Math Time is a very high quality book that is in line with the national curriculum framework and follows the guidelines laid down by the NCERT. The key features of New Math Time are First of all, the, book is con the book's content and illustrations are student-centered. It has math in real life get started at the beginning of each chapter that shows the relevance of the topic to the daily life and helps to motivate learning. Higher order thinking skills, skills section has MCQ in books that are at par with the questions found in the international tests such as teams and Olympiads. Activities section contains math lab activities and projects. Differentiated worksheets. In each chapter, there are differentiated worksheets. They are simple diagnostic tool that helps the teacher to diagnose the level of competency achieved by each student. Let us have a look at the chapters that will be covered during 2022-23. Dear parents, more important than curricula are the methods of teaching and the spirit in which teaching is given. We will start a chapter with the recall worksheet. New knowledge and skills are dependent on pre-existing knowledge and skills. Knowing what students know and can do when they come into the classroom or before they begin a new topic of study, help us craft instructional activities that will help the students to acquire new skills easily. Therefore, we use a recall worksheet before every chapter. Lab activities. We have a fully equipped math lab. To help the students build interest and confidence in learning the subject, we will have math lab activities. Lab activities provide an opportunity for the students to discover mathematics through doing and help students to visualize, manipulate, and reason. Videos and PPT. Mathematics is a subject that could be visualized and compared to practical life. Therefore, we will use videos and PPTs as and when required. Classwork and homework. Written work is an inseparable part when it comes to teaching of mathematics. We will have regular classwork, which can be as textbook work, notebook work, or a worksheet, and sometimes they will have homework. Reinforcement. Mathematics is a subject that requires constant practice and revision. If this is not done, students tend to forget the concepts. We will provide a revision worksheet at the end of chapter to reinforce the concept learned. Class tests and mental math tests. At the end of each unit, a class test will be conducted which will help us to access the teaching learning process, after which remedial work will be done if the need arises. Remedial worksheet will be given as and when required. Dear parents, we'll try to fill in the gaps created during the online classes. Every student can learn, just not in the same way or on the same day. Therefore, We'll measure and analyze each child's progress and create differentiated worksheets accordingly. We will have indoor and outdoor games to make teaching and learning interesting and keep the children physically fit. We will have outdoor games and sometimes we can play them indoor even. Gamification aims to make learning more engaging and appealing to the students. Projects and assignments will help children to do proper research 
and understand a particular topic in much more detailed manner. BRICS math and Olympiad exams will be available for the students. They will get opportunity to participate in these exams. Mathematica, the annual mathematics quiz will be a great source of learning where every child will be allowed to participate in the preliminary round. This will help the students to develop their critical and logical thinking skills. Math DSMD, as a part of joyful learning of mathematics, we will celebrate Mathematics Day. Now what's new? This year, we will have Math Talk, which will give children the freedom to express their ideas. Let us see how it works. Students will be working in groups. The teacher will pose one challenging question. Students need to discuss the possible strategies to get the solution. They will list out the steps and share their views. This will help the students to develop their mental abilities, critical thinking skills, and problem solving skills. This will encourage collaborative learning and the students will be able to describe a problem and solve in their own particular way. Assessment is an integral part of instruction as it determines whether or not the goals of education are being met. Our evaluation will be based on the performance of the students in written tests, classwork and homework, and subject enrichment activities. Collaboration is a key part of the success of any organization executed through a clearly defined vision and mission and based on transparency and constant communication. Therefore, we'll give you feedback as it will required and expect you to do the same. Parents are vital partners in education. They influence the child's attitude about learning and support learning at home. They are a vital link between home and school. And when they become involved with the life of the school, they make our school better places to learn, grow, and thrive. Together, as a team, parents and teachers can work to create the best possible environments to foster physical, emotional, and intellectual well-being for students. Dear parents, let us work together for the holistic development of our children so that they can have a secure future. Let us now have glimpses of myriad of virtual activities conducted last year, which will play a role in facilitating and enhancing various skills of every people in the coming years too. Thank you, dear parents. Have a wonderful day. Now, I would like to invite Mrs. Ambika Padmanavan, who will brief you about the methods of teaching EVS. Over to you, Mrs. Ambika.
well, that was a promotional teaser for the department of EVMs. Morning defines our day. That is all about how we start every morning. To all those who are listening to me right now, 232 participants in this webinar and 71 for watching on YouTube, a very warm good morning. I am Ambika Padmanabhan, Academic Coordinator for the Department of EVS and Computer Science. I'm sure you have fastened your seat belts and are ready to join me for the orientation. I will brief you on the following areas. Objectives, textbooks and notebooks, syllabi, learning experiences, assessments, events and competitions, the team of EVS, professional development of teachers, feedback, and how you can stay connected to us. EVS is environmental studies. At the primary level, it envisages exposing students to real situations in their surroundings to help them to connect, be aware, to appreciate, and be sensitized towards the prevailing environment. The national and state policies have recommended the introduction of EVS as a subject at the primary level to ensure that the students establish the linkage between human beings and nature together with the socio-cultural environment that they inhabit. The textbook series, Fun with Environmental Studies for grades three, four, and five is designed well in accordance with the guidelines recommended by the National Curriculum Framework. For EVS, 150 pages small size one side ruled notebook will be used by grade three and four students while 150 pages long size one side ruled notebook will be used by grade five students for grade five notebooks of two different colors purple and green have been issued please note that both are meant for evs only Diagrams and pictures will be stuck on the unruled left-hand side of the notebook and notes will be written on the ruled right-hand side of the notebook. Worksheet, revision worksheets and handouts will be stuck in the notebook for easy maintenance and quick reference. The syllabus web has been developed with a child-centered perspective of themes that provide a common interface of issues in social studies, science and environmental education. The syllabus is planned well and moves outward over the three years from grade three to grade five. For instance, the theme on food begins in class three with cooking, eating in the family about what we eat and what others eat, what animals eat and so on. It then moves on in grade four to how food is grown, what different plants they may have seen, how food reaches us and so on. In grade five, children discuss who grows it, the hardships farmers may face while staying grounded to the reality of our own pangs of hunger or the plight of people who do not get food. Few chapters will be assigned to be read at home. Practice worksheets with multiple choice questions will be given to answer based on the understanding of the chapters. Enrichment activities, give a spurt to the learning skills of a child. The child steps into an area of their interest where creativity is unfettered. These activities throw open plenty of opportunity for the students as a natural extension to their scholastic pursuits. Though various activities will be suggested for each chapter, there are few chapters whose enrichment activities will be graded. There will be choice given to students to choose the enrichment activity. Please note, submission of a minimum of one enrichment activity per term is mandatory for evaluation. Moving on to learning experiences, they reflect larger pedagogical and technological shifts that have occurred in the design and delivery of education to students. For example, new technologies have dramatically multiplied and diversified the ways in which students can learn from and interact with us, educators. Students can email or chat with teachers and use Google Classrooms to organize and exchange learning materials. They can use software programs, apps, and educational games to learn on their own time, at their own pace, and without instruction or supervision from teachers. 
they can watch videos created by their teachers or conduct online research to learn more about a concept taught in the class. Burton Russell, a famous British philosopher, rightly emphasized the significance of teaching methodologies to provide meaningful learning experiences to our young learners. The use of videos and PPTs as effective tools to present learning material to the students will continue in the offline classroom for smooth transition from the online setup. Various novel and modern ways of teaching are adapted by our innovative team of EVS teachers to develop decision-making skills, problem-solving skills, and critical thinking ability of the students. Let's name a few. Gamification transforms the classroom environment and regular activities into a game. This makes the learning experience fun by providing a dopamine release. Good job. Well done. You have completed this game. Digital storytelling combines the best of two worlds, the new world of digitized video, photography and art, and the old world of telling stories. Digital storytelling method used in science education affects students' academic success, as well as their attitudes and motivations towards learning science. Blow Hot, Blow Cold by Ms. Umbika Padmanabhan. What are these cylinders, Grandpa? Rhea was a young girl of nine years. Her grandfather took her to a hospital to consult a doctor. On the way, she saw several cylinders placed in the hospital. She asked her grandfather, are these cylinders filled with LPG? What are these cylinders? Her grandfather replied, Dear Rhea, these cylinders are filled with oxygen. They are used in the treatment of patients. OLABS or Online Laboratory is a virtual platform for students to safely conduct experiments online anytime and anywhere. As you can see in the video, the iodine test was conducted online using OLABS, enabling students to carry out the experiment online and record their inferences. Numerous enjoyable learner-centered activities are developed throughout the academic year by the competent faculty of the Department of EVS that will help in the holistic development of the students. Observation, experimentation, demonstration, and creative learning activities help the learners to understand the concept and arouse curiosity among them in order to encourage independent thinking. Creative learning activities like poster making, picture collage, model making, video making, origami, podcast, role play, and discussion will address contemporary issues like environmental pollution, preservation, and help young minds to explore and investigate the importance of nature. Students actively learn skills through video making and regular speaking activities in the classroom. Is the sun the brightest star in our solar system? And, and then this is Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. And this is Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system. And this is Earth, the only planet which has life. Before children speak, they sing. Before they write, they paint. As soon as they stand, they dance. Art is the basis of human expression. Various activities are conducted in classes three to five, integrating EVS topics to art, music, and dance. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. 
A guest speaker offers a new perspective to specific topics and exposes students to teachings drawn from real life experiences. Keeping this in mind, various meaningful and subject related guest lectures are organized to enhance students' learning in a more interactive, topic specific way. Moving on to assessments, the assessment structure for term one and term two can be seen on the screen. The portion for the assessments will be conveyed in advance to provide adequate time for the students to prepare. The student needs to read the content in the EVS textbook followed by the notebook exercises. In addition, they need to refer to the questions given in the worksheets, revision worksheets and handouts of the lessons. They can try solving the practice Google form given to them to evaluate their level of understanding. We, from the EVF department, aid in the brand building of ISWK by creating eco-friendly citizens. To show that we are part of a global mission, we celebrate certain special days during the course of the year. In the month of March, we had organized the Earth Hour. The schedule for this year's events can be seen on the screen. We are going to celebrate Earth Day, World Environment Day, and National Nutritional Nutrition Week. Besides these events, CBSC periodically comes with suggestions to organize various activities for the benefit of our learners. Last academic year to commemorate India at 75, an assembly was put up for INA Raising Day, and an interview was conducted with the school authorities and facilitators regarding the freedom movement. Details regarding these events will be posted in Google Classroom on a timely basis. Excursions are an integral part of the school curriculum as they enable students to explore, extend and enrich their learning and their social skills development in a non-school setting. Keeping this goal in mind, the Department of EVS overcame the challenges of the ongoing pandemic and organized virtual tours for the past two years. We are hopeful that the situation is favorable to take our students physically this academic year. Healthy competition builds classroom community by strengthening relationships, bringing out skills, talents, goods, and creativity that may not have been seen within traditional classroom projects. At class three, this academic year, students will participate in the class-wise competition, Indian superpowers of science and technology. A detailed circular regarding the same has already been issued to students and has been posted in the Google Classroom. Participation enhances courage, agility, and zeal. The more you scrub yourself on the stone of participation, the more you will shine. So encourage your kids to participate in this competition. At class four, we continue to fuel the curiosity of our students by organizing season four of Eureka Science Quiz, You Know, You Grow. The students of grade five will come together on a common platform of Earth Summit to discuss the patterns of developments that create pressure on the environment and put forth sustainable solutions to save our planet. Students are encouraged to participate actively in the competitions organized by the Board of Directors, Indian Schools, Oman, Olympiad Foundations, and other external agencies. Updates regarding the same will be updated in Google Classroom as and when applicable. Good teachers are the reason why ordinary students dream to do extraordinary things. I'm proud to present the talented, dynamic, and resourceful facilitators of the Department of EVS at class three, class four, and class five. Albert Einstein rightly said, it is the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. The team of teachers from the Department of EVS attend workshops, seminars, and conferences on varied topics like technology for blended learning, hands-on science in the digital age, the fun of doing science, item writing for multiple choice questions, and gamification in learning. 
Such professional development programs help our teachers to stay abreast of new knowledge and practices in the field of pedagogy. This helps our teachers to be most capable of helping their students learn and produce amazing results. Biannual e-bulletins, one in the month of September for term one and the other in the month of February for term two are published, which foster a connection between classroom and home by providing essential information about the happenings at the department. Feedback mechanisms are part of the quality processes. We would be delighted to hear positive feedback and focus to improve on the shortcomings, if any. Mail us your feedback, concerns, suggestions related to EVS at connect to EVS 345 at iswkoman.com. Do you watch videos on YouTube? I have around 78 watching this webinar on YouTube. So why don't you connect to us on YouTube? All you have to do is search for ISWK EVS Primary on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload new videos. You can find videos of our earlier events, study materials and our live events too on this channel. Do you follow celebrities on Instagram? Why don't you follow the school where your child studies? Follow us on ISWK Primary to get the latest happenings of our department. A connection is the energy that exists between two parties when they feel seen, heard and valued and when they derive strength from the relationship. Stay connected to us and let's build a synergetic relationship. We are sure to give you the best and the best to your children. We look forward to a fruitful academic year 2022-2023. Thank you. I also thank Ms. Poonam Joshi to assist, who assisted me in the presentation. May I now request Ms. Nandini Satish Kumar and Jeshna Jo from the Department of Computer Science to take over the proceedings from here. Thank you, Ambika, ma'am. A warm good morning to everyone. I, Nandini Satish, and my partner, Ms. Jesta Jos, on behalf of the Computer Science Department, Primary Wing, are glad to orient you for classes 3, 4, and 5. As rightly said by Tanya Baron, that technology itself is not transformative. It's the school, the pedagogy that is transformative. We at ISWK customize our curriculum and strategies with the changing times and try to give our best to our students. Computer skills allows a child to become exposed to new ways of thinking using both the creative and logical thought process. The pandemic period has changed the education dramatically with the rise of e-learning, which helped the students to be more tech savvy. I would present a brief overview of the objectives of teaching computer science in our curriculum. Here are certain aspects that I would like to draw your attention to. Our uh, objectives of teaching computer science of classes 3, 4, 5 are developing the skills of using the technology in an efficient manner, build up children to be more logical, innovative, and creative in their work, help in taking a step towards introducing new technology, developing a step-by-step -step approach to solve a problem, Applying theoretical knowledge into practical usage. Help children to improve the skill of using computer knowledge beyond the computer lab. Now, regarding, regarding the facilities in the computer department, we have a computer lab in the third floor of the primary section with 45 computers having Windows 10 and Office 2016. 
each child gets an opportunity to work at an individual computer. Regarding the computer science classes, children will have two computer classes in a week. One will be practical session and other will be a theory session. Practical session will be conducted in the computer lab and theory session will be held in the classroom. Next, regarding the textbook, the textbook for this year is the IT Planet Streaming Without Buffering, Windows 10 with Office 2016 for classes 3, 4 and 5. Dear parents, please note that there is no separate notebook for computer science. Students will solve the textual exercise in the textbook itself. Kindly ensure that the child completes those exercises on a regular basis so that the child is ready for the next computer session. Here is a syllabus for class 3, 4 and 5 for the term 1 and term 2. The syllabus are well planned and executed in a time efficient manner for the benefit of our learners. Now coming to the software, to enhance their digital skills, the following softwares are introduced to the students. Uh, for class three, they will have MS Paint, MSW Logo and MS Word. For class four, advanced level of MSW Logo, MS Word and basic level in Scratch. For class five, MS Word advanced features MS PowerPoint and scratch the advanced level. We seek your cooperation in assisting your boards by ensuring these softwares in your personal computer to help them to practice at home besides practice given at school. Now coming to the assessment, pre midterm and midterm examination will be conducted for term one while post midterm and final examination paper will be conducted for term two. Before every assessment, revision worksheets will be given and the answers for the same will be discussed during the session. Besides the theoretical assessment, students will also be evaluated for practicals also based on the work done in the computer lab. To enhance the knowledge of the students, subject enrichment activities will be conducted once in a term, which will be graded. Here are some of the previous year's subject enrichment activities. Now coming to the events and competitions, students of classes three to five will be a part of awareness campaign for National Technology Day to commemorate the achievements of scientists, researchers, engineers, and all others involved in the field of science and technology. Digi Savi Khan from the Department of Computer Science is a competition-based event to boost the competitive spirit of students to showcase their digital skills. The details of the competition will be conveyed well in advance through the announcements in Google Classroom so that the children get adequate time to prepare themselves for the competition. Here is a glimpse of the work of Digi Savvy Hunt talent activity done by our children in the previous academic year. Here is a vibrant team of computer science teachers of classes three to five, headed by Ms. Ambika Patmanabhan, our academic coordinator. Ms. Pooja Sampath will be handling class three. Ms. Jesna Jose will be handling classes four and five. 
and I will be taking classes three and four. You are welcome to get in touch with us through email if you require any clarifications. We seek your cooperation to help us to provide effective learning for our learners. Children are the priority, change is the reality, and collaboration is the strategy. You parents and we teachers together can do wonders with our young learners. Parents, thank you for your cooperation and continuous support. Let's work together to make this an excellent year for our children. Now I invite Ms. Asha to brief about school scholastic activities. Over to you, Asha ma'am. Thank you, Nandini ma'am, for giving us a quick glimpse of the computer science syllabus. The development of a child's body and mind demand proper nurturing of their physical and intellectual qualities. These are major determinants of a child's personality. Therefore, modern approaches of education emphasize on the all-round development of a child. A very good morning, dear parents. Today, I, Asha Mohan, the activity coordinator of the primary section, will brief you on the importance of co-scholastic education, especially in the current scenario, the grading pattern, and the activities which will be held during the academic year 2022-23. It is a well-known fact that the academic subjects helps in the intellectual growth across different levels. However, co-scholastic activities when taught and conducted along with the scholastic subjects ensure proper continuity of academic learning because these activities help to maintain stable emotional and physical health. As it is said, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Co-scholastic activities will help develop a sense of competitive spirit, cooperation, leadership, healthy recreation, self-discipline, self-confidence, diligence, punctuality, team spirit, as well as provide a backdrop for the development of the child's creative talents. This has become all the more important after schools have reopened after a long gap of almost two years. The shift from online to on-site will be slightly challenging. However, with the help of the co-scholastic activities, the task becomes more easier for both the children and the teachers. Let's look at the different course scholastic activities offered in the primary wing of ISWK. We have fine arts like art and craft, performing arts, which includes dance and music, and of course, physical education covering games and sports, aerobics and yoga. The academic year is divided into two terms. Term one from April 2022 to September 2022 and term two from October 2022 to March 2023. The evaluation for term one will be slightly liberal. We, co-scholastic teachers, will take into account the cumulative grades of each child's previous academic year's performance and their interaction and performance of the current academic year 2022-23. For term two, the grading will be based on their interaction and performance during the regular classes, their participation in various activities, and of course, their knowledge on the subject.
Now let's take a plunge and meet the team of vibrant and versatile teachers of the Co-Scholastic team. For arts, we have Mr. Sandeep Banerjee and Mrs. Samreen Sayed. For dance, we have Mrs. Sunita KP. For music, we have Mrs. Snehal Jani and Mr. Stanley Joseph. And for physical education, we have Mr. Shifaz, Mr. David Kennedy, Mr. Sijo, Mrs. Angeline, and Mrs. Lisa exclusively for aerobics, and Mr. Prana exclusively for yoga. As far as the syllabus is concerned, the children would have already grasped their basic concepts in classes one and two. And therefore, the focus will gradually shift towards more intricate and finer aspects as the children move to classes three, four, and five. The syllabus will be shared on a monthly basis in the school website. Last year, we had the music competition held online. However, with the on-site classes begun now, we will be having the music competitions physically at the penthouse. We have also introduced the dance competition class-wise again, both of which will be held in the month of February 2023. The students of the ISWK primary wing performed for the first time at the Royal Opera House Muscat on the 9th of March 2022 in their art and music event, Elysée d'Amore, the Factory of Ideas, one of the most loved of all Donizetti's operas. They rendered four songs, three English and one in Arabic, along with students from other esteemed schools in the capital. We were the only Indian school to have participated in this mega event where our children got the opportunity to perform with the internationally renowned production team and with a super famous music conductor, Azura Steri. This was a fascinating experience for both the children and teachers of ISWK. Kudos to you, Team ISWK. With regard to games and sports, we have the ISWK Academy, which is a huge success. It not only offers varied sports and games under the guidance of trained coaches, but the best part is that it is spread over the whole day, which allows you to opt the timing suitable to you. As you can see on the screen, the ISWK Academy offers various popular sports like cricket, football, hockey, indoor games like chess and table tennis, and exclusive sports like swimming and skating as well. There are free and paid coaching classes at the ISWK Academy, the details of which are available in the school website under the sports and games option. Grab this golden opportunity by registering to your favorite games and to keep your body fit and trim and to relax from the day-long stress and tension. For any further details, please feel free to contact Mr. Shifas at shifas at iswkoman.com. We had also conducted the International Yoga Day, which is still continuing now. We have the yoga sessions held in the senior school ground every Saturday from 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. A flyer has been posted in the school website and you can register yourself through the flyer, through the link mentioned in the flyer. That's all from the co-scholastic team. Let's encourage our children to actively participate in all the co-scholastic activities and give them wings to fly. Thank you. Now I request my colleague Rashmi Man to take over the counseling session. Thank you, Asha ma'am. A very good morning to all the parents here. 
as Asha ma'am just mentioned, the uh, array of the post-scholastic activities that are available at the school. They often say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So please uh, encourage your wards to participate in as many activities, events, competitions uh, as possible. As in today's time, uh, academics is not the only thing that is looked into. So when, as they grow up, the co-scholastic will also uh, have a lot of importance. So make sure that they participate and gain a lot of experience during such events. A child is like a butterfly in the wind. Some can fly higher than others, but each one flies the best it can. Why compare one against the other? Each one is different, each one is special, and each one is beautiful. I am Mrs. Rashmi Patinkar, Department in Charge of Psychology, Counseling, and Special Needs, the ABLE Department at ISWK. The word ABLE stands for Advise, Belief, Learn, and Elevate. The past two years have been very difficult for all of us, and the most affected have been the children. But now we are all bouncing back and looking forward to an amazing year with a lot of opportunities for everyone. The major aim of guidance and counseling services is to encourage students, academics, social, emotional, personal, and career development. To reach this aim, a guidance counseling services at ISWK helps students to grow uh, grow and know more about themselves better and find effective solutions to their daily problems. To help and support our learners, parents, and teachers, we have a very robust team of counselors and special educators. We have Mrs. Avni Wait, who's our school counselor and psychology, psychology teacher of the main school. We have Mrs. Neha Cherin. She's a career counselor, psychology teacher, and a counselor at the main school. We have Mrs. Shamita Anshan, who is the special educator at the senior school. And we have Mrs. Rohini Swaminathan, who is the counselor for kindergarten and primary. I would now like to call upon Mrs. Rohini to talk about the services and the procedures at the ABLE department. Over to you, Rohini. Thank you, Rashmi, ma'am. A very good morning to one and all present here this morning. I will be briefing about the services offered by the Counseling, Psychology and Special Education Department of our school. We at the ABLE Department, we believe all the students have the ability to be successful in school and in life when provided with appropriate support and interventions. We believe all the students are unique individuals capable of success with their own personal strengths and talents. We believe all the students have, a, have the right to a safe and nurturing academic environment that supports and enhances their personal growth. Under the CBSE guidelines, the school follows the policy of inclusive education and accommodation for children with special needs. The students and parents are provided with the following support. Guidance and counseling. We offer guidance and counseling to the parents and students depending on the need. Informal assessments in the form of classroom observations are carried out by the respective counselor or special educator. Identifying the special needs students in a class. We also offer remedial sessions to students who need remedial assistance. Individual exam support is offered to students who need exam assistance. External references are also provided in case if a child requires speech therapy, occupational therapy or behavior therapy, etc. The school also facilitates shadow support for children with special needs. 
Parent individual sessions are carried out depending on the need of the child. We also assist teachers and parents with regard to reference. Here is a glimpse of the new resource room at the gate at the KG building. Dear parents, let us go for a virtual tour to the new resource room at the KG building. As you can see in the video, the room is colorful and big. It consists of variety of toys, puzzles, books, and other educational resources catering to different needs of a child. I'm sure all of you must be wondering, when should you actually see a counselor? This might be the question running in majority of the parents' minds. So here are a few pointers which might help you, dear parents. When you notice a developmental delay in milestones, for instance, if you, if you feel that your child has started speaking late or there has been a specific delay in certain developmental milestones like fine motor development, gross motor development, you can come and approach a counselor. Students with learning difficulties, any behavior change in the child that is sudden or unusual, children who exhibit aggressive behavior. We also offer guidance to parents in the form of tips to improve certain specific areas of concern, bullying, personal issues. Regular in-house workshops, competitions and activities are planned and conducted by the ABLE team for the students, teachers and, the, and for the parents as well. Dear parents, for regular updates, follow us on our Insta, Instagram page, ABLE underscore ISWK. So what exactly the, is the procedure followed in our depart, department? This is the procedure we follow in our department. A referral form is usually filled by the parent or the teacher. In case of higher grades, we also have an option of self-referral. Once the referral forms are filled, the respective counselor or the special educator carries out classroom observations. Classroom observations are carried out. Informal assessments in the form of classroom observations are carried out for the special needs students. Dear parents, kindly note no formal testing is done at school. If a parent wishes to seek remedial counseling or exam assistance from our department, it is mandatory that you sign the parent consent form. Dear parents, kindly note that it is mandatory for you to sign the parent consent form in case if you want to avail the counseling, remedial or exam assistance from our department. Special education program, we also plan and design individual education program depending on the need of the child. External references are also provided in case if a child requires additional therapy like occupational therapy, speech therapy and behavior therapy. References are also provided by us. The contact details of the special educator, the counselors are on your screen. Dear parents, you can take it down. Kindly feel free to reach out to us at any point of time for any clarification of queries. I'm sure it has been a journey of ups and downs for all of us for the past two years. It has been a challenging roller, roller coaster ride to unlearn what has been learned and to relearn what has to be. Though it was a challenging ride, it was better because we were in this together. Dear parents, I would like to draw your attention towards these parent tips of the day. I'm sure all of us agree that COVID-19 has not been easy for all, all of us and especially our children. So here are a few tips which might be of use to you. Children need a minimum of eight touches during the day to feel connected to a parent. 
It could be as simple as the straightening of a collar, a pat on the shoulder, or a simple good morning hug. Each day, children need one meaningful eye-to-eye -eye conversation with a parent. I, I feel all of us have gone through a lot of challenging times, especially with regards to pandemic. We have forgotten what is it like to give eye-to-eye -eye contact and engage ourselves in meaningful conversation. Research has shown there are eight, nine minutes during the day that have the greatest impact on a child. The first three minutes after they wake up, the three minutes after they come home from school, the last three minutes before they go to bed. Dear parents, it's a humble request. We need to make those moments special and help our children feel loved. Thank you and all the very best for the new academic year. I now hand over the session to Seema ma'am. Thank you Rohini ma'am and the counseling department for your constant support, not only to the students, but to us teachers too. As we work towards updating the school ERP, my class board, and making it more user-friendly and easy to maneuver through, we have with us Mr. Lokesh, who will brief us on the use of the varied modules and the procedures to be followed for the same. It's over to Mr. Lokesh. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. Uh, hi, all. Just a minute. I'm, I will share my link. Hello. Yeah, sir. So just a minute. I'm. I will be sharing my screen. Okay. Hope you are able to see my screen. Yes, yes. Yes, thank you. So here you can see we are providing an app uh, for the school communication purpose and also to view all the updates from the school also. So you can see this is the home page. What you all, once once after we log in, this will be the login page to the students. And once they click on continue, so you can see all the options which are available here. And also we have uh, made a sub module. So, so like academics is ahead and I, under academics, you can see attendance, timetable, progress report, daily, the, uh, daily class diary and uh, policy manuals in school services like that. We have bifurcated all according to uh, your understanding. So here you can see, I will, uh, I will show you one by one. So first of all, if I go to attendance, so here you can see the attendance which are uh, given from the uh, by the parent uh, sorry by the teachers so here right now you are able to see the month wise attendance okay month wise present percentage and absent like this so on the top you can see the graph also so total present is 120 and the absent is 2 and if you want to see the details also if you click on this month so you will able to see the day wise attendance as well 
and then if you go to again i'm going back to the home page so here if you want to see the timetable what a, uh, for a particular day you can see from here in timetable you can see monday tuesday wednesday thursday you can see the timetables with time subject as well as the teacher name so with this you will get to know what subject is uh, going to happen uh, on that particular day and again we have given a provision where uh, you can see the progress report card of your kid so once you go to the progress report card once you click on this overall so once if the if the school allows you to uh, see the report card then you can see the report card right now for this particular kid uh, the report card is not enabled but once you click on this particular uh, overall or uh, this term okay you will get the report card of that particular term and uh, you can also download in your uh, device mobile device and also you have like policy manuals are there here in school services where you can download the policy manuals once the school school uploads the policy documents and uh, in the same way we have fee details where you can pay the fee from online so all that we have already given the top like in fee details you can see whatever the fee are there so you can pay from here directly or if you want to view the transactions here we have given an option to click on view transactions where you can see the transactions and you can also download the receipts of that particular transactions. So you can view the receipts like this. Once after you click, you can see the fee receipt of the of your kit. Speed of the internet may be a problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, I have connected with the mobile network. Uh, so, Wi Fi, I have switched off. So, okay. Just a minute, sir. I will just stop sharing. I will connect the device again. Uh, so you can also download the fee receipts and also if you have any concerns you can you can raise your concerns from concerns module by clicking on the concerns module you can see the academics fees general non-academic and transport so according to the concern type you are selecting that particular concern type will be automatically assigned to the particular department so this is how you can also use the concerns module and also you have like uh, you can apply the tc from the system like here you have an option of apply tc where you can apply the tc from your app and then you have a lunch menu uh, if any lunch menu is given by the uh, school so you can you can view the lunch menu here in the lunch menu and then you have also like learning module so whatever the content upload in the uploaded in the system you can see here english physics chemistry biology mathematics and if you want to go through the uh, chapters and topics whatever are uploaded by clicking on this so you can see like this you can click on start reading and you can see there is one file which is attached so once after you click on the file it will be asking you to download the ppt and you can view you can download and you can view the ppt from your mobile device and then you can see like like this we have uh, other subjects also you can select any of the chapter and you can select by clicking on the start reading, you can see whatever the topics are uploaded, all will be viewed here. And you can see files, links. So different, different types of options are available, files with links, videos, audio files also. So by this, uh, you can download the, download the files, download the videos, you can download the audio files and all, and you can do, uh, you can read from your mobile device and also, so again we have a communication the main key point is like communication part 
where you can see announcements announcements are nothing but are circulars which are given by the uh, given by the school teachers or heads okay so here once after i click on the announcements you can see whatever the announcements are given by the school you can see all the announcements and if you want to read by clicking on this view mode so you can see whatever the announcement is given as well as you have an option of uh, uh, like downloading the files also downloading the files also so you can download here and you can also read like for example just i have downloaded this software downloading just if you click so you can see this is the attachment given so you can see the previous announcements also which are given uh, by the school heads and teachers and you can view and you can download the photograph you can see this is the photograph given by the school you can download the photograph and then you have other options like event calendar where here the calendar will be updated if any holidays are there those holidays also will be updated by the school people and you can see the holidays and events which are conducting by the school you can see here month on month like this you can see march 1st it's a government holiday so you can see holidays event started first march to at first march like this whatever the events are uploaded by the uh by the school you can see all those holidays here like this in the same way you have other options like gallery so gallery is like photo gallery actually so if any events are happening in the school okay the teachers or any admin people will take the photographs and they will create a event and they will attach events in this but uh, images in this particular photo gallery so you can download from your system and you can uh, keep the photos with you in the mobile device as well and also you have like messages where you can see if any normal this is not like an uh, uh, the message uh, like it's not a what we call normal sms or anything like we are having regular messages which can be communicated from the uh, school staff but uh, to you this is a my class board to my class board communication part so this is a regular regular message sms message if any if sms is integrated so you can see the sms which uh it is getting like this this is an automated sms which got sent in the same way we have uh, other options like discipline log if you want to apply leave you can apply the leave and also you have digital document library where you can upload the documents so requested by the school by clicking on this upload new document you can upload you can man manage this as a uh, like doc document uh, library so means it's a it's a it's a type of bank a document bank so here you can write the description and you can attach the file here by clicking on this it will be asking you to attach the document gallery or if you want to take direct photo so you have an option of camera so you can directly capture it and you can just keep here in this particular option of upload new document once after you upload anyway at any time you can go to this app and you can download the documents from here okay just show that uh, what all document they can upload like passport and other things sure sir so here you can see birth certificate transfer certificate immunization certificate photograph report card blood group certificates caste certificate application form resource form you can see different different options are available here like child passport emirates id father passport mothers migration certificate yeah all the parents are need to uh, upload their uh, child photograph father photograph mother photograph child passport father passport mother passport and visa page yes sir. so you have we have given maximum options like you can uh, it will means it will not get missed so all the documents which are uh, there in every school so we have given all the options here you can select those particular options which are which sir have requested to upload you can upload from here goods yes and sir, and then 
if you want to add see sibling so in sibling a sibling case if you want to add a sibling so here we have given an option of plus add sibling once after you click on add sibling we will be we will be checking with the mobile number if the student is having same mobile number automatically sibling can be added and also we have an option of gate pass where you can you can uh, like request for a gate pass like uh, if you want to re uh, request pickup so you have request pickup is there if you want to uh, take a gate pass approval from the uh, principal so you have you can see the green color plus mark is there once after you click on this green color plus mark here you can see father mother other like this options are available and here you have to write the reason okay and here you have an option of from date to two date so from this particular date to this particular date i will be taking my kid at 12 40 so you can just raise a request to principal and once the principal approves a, a, a qr code will be generated so that qr code will be uh, scanned in the school also so once the school uh, people scan that particular uh, code so it will be approved and will be notified as yes, this this particular kid uh, this particular uh, sorry this parent came and uh, take away student from the school at 12:45 or 12:42 like that so you can see the list we have given uh, how the process will be going on here in this particular note and then how uh, we have history is there like if you have already requested means whatever the previous uh, history is there uh, regarding the gate pass will be shown here in the history box and then <clears throat> So here we have an option of change password. If you want to change password, once you click on this change password, it will be asking you to give the old password and whatever the new password is there, you can type the new password and you can reset your password. So this is for security. We recommend you to change the uh, password by every like one month or one and a half month like that. And then, uh, so you, you can see like, if you want to log out, you can log out. And also we have an option of profile. So in profile, according to the- uh, uh, Rohit, can you just uh, demonstrate about the LMS also if it is there? Yes, sir, I have already shown. I will show again, sir. Okay. Yeah, so here in this particular profile, so here you can see an edit option is given. Once after you click on edit, you can see whatever, so you can see the, options which are given you to update from your logins so you can you can type here the passport issue place validity and uh, like this you can see all these details you can update from your your logins and this will be restricted by the uh, school admin people why they will give a particular date once after that date this edit option will be disappeared so you can see the further details also for the details, mother details and address details. If you want to edit, click on the edit and you can write the uh, address, permanent address and address, current address like this. And uh, so here you can see the LMS learning part where whatever the chapters and whatever the content is uploaded from the school. So you can go to this particular option and you can take if you if you want to uh, study english so we'll open english and you will click on start reading and you can see there are some files which are given once after you click on these files you can see text pdf is there and the last question qb is there if i download this so here we'll be having download option so once after you download you can view the documents which are attached by the school and you can see the Just a minute. I will show the like physics. So I go to start reading. So I'm opening link. So once after I click on video lesson, so videos will be opening. Actually, it is asking me to log in. So, but but it will be opening from your login. So like once after you click on link, you will log in with your normal Gmail or uh, ID or anything like that, and then you can view whatever the videos are uploaded by the school and whatever the files are uploaded by, by the school. Sir, uh, this is the LMS part, sir. Okay. Uh, Lokesh. Sir. Uh, parents are asking. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I think Mr. Guru Reddy is asking. He has gone through the 
you know your uh, particular explanation or demonstration yes, and it's downloaded the uh, app but is not yes. able to see the fee module fee module will be on the top sir like uh, okay, show one second you know show one second yeah so sir here in the first option itself is fee details once after you click on this fee details so you can see actually this particular student didn't have any uh, fee due so it is showing right now the balance is zero okay if fees is there then you, you, you will have an option of pay now okay can you just log in by another one any sure sir just a minute i will take one student go to name them go to them once by logging in with another one sure sir. i will be stop sharing sir and i will log in it and then okay. i will again reshare no issue yes Sir, fee details are available only in parent login, not student login. Yes, that we need to explain to them. If they are logging as a student, they will not be able to see the fee details. If they are logging as a parent, then they will be able to see the fee details. Am I right? Correct, sir. Yes, sir. Correct, yes. sir. Okay, because the our purpose is. Student should not know the fee payment status. Right, sir. So another question: What they are asking? Uh, if siblings are in the same school, can we use one login for both the kids? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That I have already shown uh, on the profile itself. We have an option of add sibling. Okay. This is this is like once you click on add sibling, if the mobile number is same for both the kids, automatically you can add that sibling. Uh, another question from the same parent, Samia. Can you explain what will be the username and password when you are registering the app for the first time? So the usernames and passwords will be given uh, from the school. If you, I think this we can send an email. The login details will be sent from email. So. Okay. So you can explain to them now. If anyone is registering and downloading and registering, and how do they get this password and uh, user ID or username? Juju, okay. can you explain? Sir, if they have not received the ID and password, they can send a mail to it support at the right iswkoman.com. Very good. So the parents, if I, if they are by chance, suppose if they are not getting any. Username and password to their mobile, so they need to send an email to school. Email ID is it support at the rate of iswcommon dot com. They will help you. So they need to specify the GR number. Yes. And one parent is asking again, if finance module is made public. For all users, because I don't see finance module in the app, I just download it. So it is only you will be able to see your child details only. We are not going to show the fee fee payment status of every child to everybody. We are taking utmost care. This fee payment details or finance module details of your child will be only you will be knowing it. No other parent, no other child. Hope that uh, doubt is cleared by uh, Lokesh. I think you can also clear that. They are thinking that Correct. now, yeah, fee uh -huh. payment status of like, one child or one parent will be known to the others. No, not at all. No. No, not at all, sir. Not at all. Not at all. Yes. And another one: Is it possible to send the link for his for the school app because the app which is which I saved is not showing fee icon. Etc. Trust ISWK parent portal is the app. Maybe the doubt you can clear once again. Yes, actually, if you are not able to see the fee details, means you have logged in with the student login. Student, correct. Yes. Yeah. So if okay. if uh, I think you have to log in with the p underscore the username and the password which are provided from the organization. So now I think uh, Uday, let's yes, prepare a user manual. How do how each parent can log in as a student? Suppose if they want to see uh, how their son or daughter is able to see what they are able to see, <clears throat> but if they are able, to, if they want to uh, log in as a parent, 
how they have to log in. So the two different things. Only from school point of view, what we have made difference is except the key details, everything else is common. Correct, sir. Am I right? Correct, sir. Yeah. So maybe parents, some of the parents are, are trying to log in as a student. That's why they are not able to see the uh, financial yes, module. So let them log in as a parent and then see that. Yes, sir. We we'll send a germinal circular also, no problem. Yeah. And now they are asking that one, uh, I think, Savitri Murthy. Nothing is reflecting in the LMS tab. I have been checking since last year. Now, I think this year only we are now trying to upload the material. Last year, uh, we have uploaded it to our website. Now, this year onwards, we are going to use both simultaneously website and our MCB. So all my staff will be uploading the materials. If that is not uploaded, give us feedback. And then next, another one. Uh, thanks for orientation. I want to know whether all PPTs will be uploaded in MCB, which is being taught in class and even notebook. And will the exams will be descriptive and when will be the midterm examinations? So many questions are there. One, we are going to upload all the learning materials. So slowly you will be able to see that PPTs, videos, other notes and other things, question bank, all those things. And when it comes to the exams, they are descriptive. Another one, uh, midterm exams are going to end by 31st May. And uh, shortly you will get the date sheet, today or tomorrow. And uh, what is the app name in the Play Store? Okay, I think you can tell that. Yeah, there are some parents confused. I used to be. I used to be. Right. So MCB yes, or only ISWK? ISWK parent portal. Sony ISWK. Okay, ISWK parent portal. Yeah, we will send the manual, sir. And we will mention the Play Store also. Please send, please send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <coughs> many parents are confused. There are two, three applications for, uh, is available in Play Store from the MCB. So people are uh, installing the uh, wrong application and it becomes a problem. That's what they are fi finding difficult. Most of the parents, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are trying to download. And please explain how to log in as a parent in portal. That I think someone sir, can... Tomorrow only we will send, sir. Huh? Tomorrow only we will send, circular. Okay, but if possible, can we show here uh, how the, as a parent we can log in? I will show, sir. Okay, please, please do that. Yeah. I uh, I this is the name. parent. This is the... Uh, yes, sir, actually, I skipped that and I have, I'm have. i showing the pre details. Okay. So, here you can see uh, the payment option. Like, uh, you have requested for the payment option to show, right? So, for that, here you can see I have went to the pre details option here. Once after I click on this, you can see whatever the fee balance is there will be shown like this. And Correct. you can see the fee type wise, annual tuition fee, late fee, like this. So once after you click on this pay now, you can see quarter one is auto selected and tuition fee, uh, CBS fee quarter one auto selected, late fees are like this. Once after right. you click on proceed, it will be redirect to the payment gate. That's very good. And also we, if you want to see the breakup and all, here we have an option of view fee details. You can see fee type wise, annual fee, tuition fee like this. We have given option to installment wise also like quarter one, what is the fee, quarter two, what is the fee, quarter three, what is the fee, like this also you can see, or else if you want to see due month wise, 10th April, this is the 10th Jan 2023, 10th July 2022, you can see this type also like month wise, due month wise. Lokesh, I think here sure. it is month wise also showing the quarterly fee only, but if we yeah. can go for month monthly fee payment option area. You can show that as a different one. This is not monthly fee payment. Well, this is not monthly fee payments. Actually, I have okay. opened fee details. So okay, yeah. What actually is... now? I want to uh, showcase to all the parents. Uh, last thirty years or thirty-two years almost, uh, only the Vadikabir school did not collect any refundable or non-refundable cash and deposit. So. All other Indian schools in Oman, they have been collecting it. 
under the board of directors of indian schools instructions or directions so this year it has come to us as also mandatory so therefore all those parents who all wants to switch over from quarterly fee to monthly fee this payment of cash and deposit is must so if a, a parents wants to opt for the monthly fee payment option it is automatically available to the parents by paying the cash and deposit so for first child cash and deposit is 100 real that is a, a refundable uh, cash and deposit and uh, another second child the, that is sibling second child 50 third child also 50 any number of children for that that is 50 only 50 per child but first child is 100 100 real so if the parents pay this cash and deposit then automatically the monthly fee payment option will be available to them. Lokesh, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Maybe if there is any other login is there where we have monthly fee payment option, you can show that. Otherwise, you can go ahead. No problem. Okay, sir. Uh, and then, sir, shall I show how the login page will be there? And yeah, login page as a parent. So you can see this is the login page. So P underscore the username the, for the parent. So you have to, means the login ID and password will be shared by the uh, school admin staff. So you can log in with that particular account. And also you have options like forget password, forget username. If you have forget, you can directly type uh, the forgot username or forget password. So some validations will be there like date of birth, and those all, if you have forgot any username or password, just you need to validate it with the data. Done. And the app also, just a minute, I will show the app also, like uh, on what show the app. Show yeah, the app. Play Store. Play Store. Play Store. Yeah, Play Store. Play Store. Okay. Yes. So just direct type like ISWK parent app. You can see the first one. My class board education solutions and ISWK. This is the first one. So this is the app. ISWK parent portal. Okay, then okay. they might have seen now. Yes. Sir. So once after you install, just click on uh, open and here you have to give the login IDs and password. Once after you click on login, so it will be taking you to the login page. That means the page. So for this particular student, you can see the siblings. So already the parent have added the siblings. Once after Correct. you click, you click on continue, then that particular student, uh, that particular student details to whom you have clicked on continue will be open. Here. Correct. So if you if you want to switch, you can directly go back and you can switch by clicking on the other student. Very good. And also, if the students are already promoted, then you have an option of progress report card, which before I'm not able to show you. So here I'm changing the academic year to 21-22. Once after I click on 21-22, once I click on overall, so you can see the previous year's report cards also. So this is the report card. You can see you can download it. If you want to view, you can zoom it and you can view it. And down, you have an option of download option is available. Once after you click on download, this particular report card will be saved in your device also. Also, if you want to see only term one, you have an option of term one. Once after you click on term one, term one report card will be shown. Hope I am clear, sir. 
Yeah, yeah. Now I think I'll have some questions to ask you. Yes, sir. The parents are uh, typing questions. Uh, one okay, is, sir. is it possible to introduce social studies and second language that I will take it up a little later? Uh, my kids have been admitted in fourth and first classes. Good morning. I wanted to request all respected subject teachers to upload daily work done in class in GC as some children are not able to complete their work in class. So they can complete their work. That also we can take it. Let me know about the books. New admission, class three and four, already done in the payment. Can we get the hard copies of the report cards, certificates of participation that had been sent through Gmail? So these questions, I think, not regarding to the MCB. So we'll take it up. Any other point if you have a location, you can explain. Otherwise, we'll move on next. Yes, sir. We can move on. Sir. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lokesh. Uh, maybe what we'll do next to the presentation when we start, we'll try yes, to sir. give you first slot. Okay, sir. Okay. Then we okay, you, sir. you can explain this and then we can continue our next presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done, sir. Done, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Also, oh, sir, mm -hmm. same uh, parent can log in from web, web portal also from website by using laptop or the PC also. Yes, correct. Shall I share the website screen also, sir? Yeah, yeah well, uh, please. Uh, uh, just, just a minute. Okay, yeah. are you showing the web, yeah. web login? Yes, sir, yes, sir. I have shared them. So you can see the screen. So the URL will be iswk.myclassco.com. Once after you click on the once after you give the URL, you can see the background page will be like this. And you will type the username, you will give the password, and once after you click on login. So here you can see like this, it will be visible. And if you want to switch, as I said before, in the app also you have switching of siblings. So here also you have sibling switching is available. So you can see once after you click on this trend, it will be switched to this. If you click on this trend, it will be switched to this. Like this switching can be happened. And also on the dashboard, on, once you log in, you can see these are announcements which are given. And you can see there are two dashboards, ERP and learning management. I'm going to show you the ERP dashboard. So here in this particular dashboard, you can see the attendance first. So attendance will be shown like this. And here in the updates, again, the latest announcements which are given by the schools, you can see here in the updates. And once after you click on this show more, all the modules which are given can be seen here. So if you want to view the timetable, click on the timetable. If you want to view the attendance, click on the attendance. So here, if you want, same, if you want to see day wise, once after you click on this month name, so here it will be showing you the day wise again. And again, if you see documents and certificates are also available before we have, uh, I have shown you in digital document library in the same way here, we have given option to upload your documents. You can view the documents here. And if you want to download here, you can download also. Once after you upload here, so these all documents can be downloaded from here also. And you have announcements option. So whatever the latest announcement sending by sending from the school, you can see all these. Like if you want to click, if you want to view, if you click on view more here, PDF is there. Click on this PDF. You can you can download this PDF and you can view. Again, here policy manuals are there. It's a newsletter type of thing. Once after the school, people will upload these manuals. So all the manuals will be seen here. 
in the same way you have a uh, chat feature is available like as i said before messages my class board to my class board communication is there i said so for that you have messages is there where you can compose and you can send this particular uh, message to the uh, particular school uh, people like if you click on compose here it will be asking you to whom you want to send subject teacher names will be there and principal's name is there so you can just type the subject and you can write the description you can send the message in the same way we have an option of pay or view fees where you can see the previous name same like how we have seen the app in the same way you select click on continue it will be taking you to the payment gateway and if you want to view the report cards so just change the academic year here so you can see the report cards here so you can see the report card here and you can also download it from by clicking by clicking on this print you can print that report card so here we have given overall term one like this so you can just select term one if you want to view only term one report card by selecting term one uh, the term one report card will be viewed here in this particular option like this and then here we have a school calendar is there so as i said event calendar type of thing if uh, the uh, once once the holidays and all will be uploaded here so all can be seen from here holidays events examinations so everything will be uploaded from the school and the parent can be viewed from the school calendar option and then photo gallery as i said like in photo gallery if any events are happening so those events can be the you can take the photograph and you can upload those photographs in photo gallery and the parent can download from here and then you have like gate pass before i have shown you there and the gate pass the same options will be available here request for pickup pass request for pre approved pass approved gate pass so if you select this pre approved gate pass so here it will be asking you for the uh, living with home and reason time as i said from this day to this date i will Sorry. be taking my kid at one o'clock or two o'clock okay. you will just sir hello uh lokesh i think from your end only it has come nothing to worry no oh. okay sir so like this here uh, you can approve for, uh, you can apply for the gate pass and also you have health details are available so here you can see the health history and health details uploaded uh, from the school and uh, here we have tc request so from here you can apply for the tc request by selecting these you will get it will, it will be asking you for the like details so according to this you can apply tc from here you can see these all details will be seen in this tc request and then here you have an assignments option is available whatever the assignments sent from the school you can see the all the assignments here there are two modes will be available and online and offline where online online will be like a purely online like the assignment will be sent to you as a, uh, to the parent and uh, the student or parent will just upload the uh, photograph of that particular assignments and then that will be corrected by the teacher and they will resubmit and the parent can view a parent or a student can view from here purely online and then here offline means just you can view you can't do any changes but only you can view and here you have like the online examinations also available so this is like a objective examinations and summative examinations are there where if any objective examinations are conducting from the school you can see all those exams here and you can write from here and then learning league is there like learning league is like nothing but your uh, teacher will post some uh, topic and the teachers uh, sorry then the other students uh, can uh, discuss uh, from the learning league it's a discussion form type of thing and timetable is there here so if the timetable is uploaded you can see all the timetable which are which is there here and if you you can see the notifications icon also like if notifications are enabled once you click on this notification notifications also will be seen 
and on the home page if you want to change the password on the home page itself you have an option of change password on software you click again it will be asking you for the old password and you can give the new password and confirm the password so this is how you can see the uh, web parent portal Lokesh. Yes, thank sir. you, Lokesh. <coughs> thank you, sir. Once again, thank you, Mr. Lokesh. Parents, I thank sincerely you. request you to please do download the app and explore the different features. This will help us to connect better with each other. I now request our principal, Mr. D. N. Rao, to please address the gathering. Sir. Thank you, Sima. uh maybe even stuff addressing now we will take up questions what all the parents have asked here so there's a query if i may just pose that sir yes ma'am there's a query from mrs pooja nayak she says thanks for the session and can the time table define which notebook to take between prose and language so i can answer that question for you ma'am and for the information of all parents the concerned teachers will specify the notebook that needs to be brought to class both prose and language will not need to be brought to class on a daily basis i hope that answers your query ma'am the next question sir is that is there any chance we can expect the tamil language as option as second or third language in the next or the upcoming year uh it may not be possible immediately now because it requires uh, rec recruitment of the staff as you all know we are uh, uh, in different part of the world and recruiting a teacher getting the manpower uh, permit and all will take minimum 5 to 6 months time so hence maybe if the good number is there maybe next year we can plan so right now it will it is very difficult for us to promise you so there's a query from ms simon to hail uh, she mentions that the school timing will be increased post ramzan until 1:30 is there any specific reason and will it continue for the entire year i think you can answer that or shall i answer it question yes sir yes sir you can go ahead please yeah now earlier uh, in our iswk primary premises we used to have uh, afternoon shift afternoon shift used to start at 130 and it used to go up to almost 7 o'clock now the school management has created additional 40 classrooms in our kg building premises uh, refurbication has been done and then we are now trying to accommodate everyone in the same shift that is a morning shift and then as you know we wanted to give our best to the st students so that every period uniformly we would like to have 40 minutes so that enough interaction can take place it's not like punishing the students or punishing the staff it is to give the best to the children that is only the idea there is no other scientific reason or any other reason for uh, enhancing from 1 o'clock to 130 only the in, in best in the interest, best interest of the school best interest of the students the timings have changed thank you sir sir mrs sujita george i guess she is from india and her children are there too Uh, she has greeted all of us and she is asking whether her children can join school on 7th may because they are having their annual examinations going on in india and the tc will be issued after 17th may so will she be permitted to submit the tc and mark sheets by the end of may yeah maximum 2 months time we are giving to furnish the transfer certificate so let the parent give the letter so that to we will incorporate the same nothing to worry there is a suggestion from a parent uh, asking us if it is possible to introduce 
social studies and the second language from the primary classes itself i think you can answer that yes ma'am thank you for your suggestion and the query too we will surely consider social studies whereas the second language as well as the other language options will be taken into consideration uh, keeping in mind several requirements of teachers etc we will keep you posted uh, as and when the decision is taken ma'am thank you for that no actually another point also madam this is uh, in accordance with the cbse guidelines we do that so cbse uh, insists on having environmental science evs that is a combination of the social science as well as the science so right now immediately we may not be able to bring any change in that so that we have to follow the cbse guidelines if that clearly says to introduce social science as social science at primary level will definitely do that so there is a parent to request all subject teachers to upload daily work done in class in the google classroom as some children are not able to complete their work in class and this will enable the children to complete their work at home this is a suggestion given by the parent we are going to upload to google classroom as well as even the mcb erp so therefore the parents can download as and when required this worksheets and all teaching material will be uploaded sir on the school website as well as the google classroom plus mcb erp also yes mcb also but written notebook work on a daily basis uh we are not too sure whether that could be done because the other flip side of the thing is that children will be completely dependent on completion of work at home whereas we want our children and encourage them to do the written work at home too so they are not dependent on completing work at home we will support can, the can, children can make it more clear madam uh there so are the two types there are two types of notebooks one is called homework another is called class work some children are very slow in writing maybe sometimes they may not be able to complete what all is projected or displayed on the board written on the board so sometimes we may move quickly to another uh, you know page of the board since we are dealing with uh, smart boards and all so what i suggest is for some time that notes can be shared on the google classroom and mcb whatever we are giving and in on our smart board so but general explanations which we are usually using that uh, blackboard where with we write chart piece that children have to follow little more speed that cannot be uploaded on the uh, mcb or gc classroom and when it comes to homework they are supposed to do from that either worksheets and all so right now we are trying to minimize the usage of the paper uh, therefore because because of the pandemic still we haven't completely come out of this pandemic so uh, particularly in uh, china uh, hong kong such country still there is a lot of alarm I mean, even in delhi last two days numbers are increasing so we don't want to immediately come out of that therefore we are requesting our teachers to create worksheets or any other like in a google uh, format so that children will be able to answer it and then they will be able to get the correct answers also idea is to give some practice to them so suppose if the parent wants to give a written practice to the children let the parents can download the paper and take the print out of that and give the sheet to the children so that they can answer it and if they want that answer to be answers to be corrected by the teachers we will help you there is a parent who would like to know details about distribution of books for new admission for classes 3 and 4 they have already made the payment for the same there is an issue i wanted to clear it off this one uh earlier when the school has given the circular to buy the textbooks and notebooks only uh, 20% of the students or parents opted for textbooks and notebooks 
so this this year because of the pandemic situation everybody has financial crisis we could not advance and bring the pe- uh, entire textbooks and notebooks equal into the entire number so then we mentioned very clearly in the circular this year onwards the textbooks and notebooks will be supplied to the parents or students only on payment basis so the parents are uh, asked to pay the money towards the textbooks and notebooks only 20% of the people paid already who paid we are distributing the books and notebooks most of the uh, distribution already over 90% distribution of books textbooks and notebooks already over and now we are going to again issue another circular because now after uh, starting the classes physically most of the parents and students again they are coming fresh order so that fresh order means immediately books are supposed to come from india not from a local market so we don't have any extra local market that they can supply the books either notebooks or textbooks immediately so what i suggest now we are going to issue a circular to the parents to the entire school that we are going to open a window to pay online for the textbooks and notebooks and to get the textbooks and notebooks from india it takes minimum 5 to 6 weeks so most probably all those who paid they will be getting the textbooks and notebooks by the reopening day after the summer vacation till such time i i request my teachers to share the e e books now like uh, soft copies of the books so that the children let them follow that books till such time if they want to have a physical book immediately whatever we have we can distribute it but whatever we don't have it will take time to give the books up to maximum maybe maybe when we reopen the school after the summer vacation i think that is in the month of august there are several queries some of the themes are repeated and we have the next session starting at 12 sir but there is one parent who has uh, uh, requested us to look into the transport services yeah transport mm-hmm. services also now what happened during the pandemic time most of the transporters they did not have any business so at least school could run our teachers are giving classes and parents are also now supporting us in the form of paying the fee and all so we could uh, sustain our jobs but in case of transporters situation was different It's completely buses are at halt and they don't have any other income they that may be the reason why that uh, number of buses availability to us because now never ever we uh, we had this problem because today for example before the pandemic we have around 7000 students as you all know due to the pandemic most of the parents left to india strength has come down but when we could manage at 7000 students today how can we how can, how can that we can't manage the transport now so the only problem is transporters might have sold their buses they are trying to manage with one or two buses only making more trips that's why it is taking time but unfortunately in oman uh, no indian school have their own buses they are all outsourced so we are only give, sharing the information of the transport service providers so that the parents can get in in touch with them and then you know discuss with them how best they can provide it the from school side we are supposed to monitor the safety and security of the children when they are traveling in the bus whether the all the uh, required specifications or certifications are followed or not and then are they uh, you know coming in time but what happened while coming to reporting to school there is no problem but when they are uh, you know during the departure particularly the problem is coming sometimes even the children from primary are picked up at primary and they are dropping at senior school and they are trying to club with the senior school students but here we have maintained almost 45 minutes of time gap minimum between kg primary and uh, senior school kg roughly around 11:15 we are uh, releasing the children 11 to 11:15 and then primary 11:45 onwards we are releasing the children and then main school 12:45 onwards 
now i think compared to the first two days so gradually the situations are coming under control but still we are not running away from the responsibilities we do have responsibility we will work with the transporters but as a parents you are really a person who is paying to the transporter you have more right to question them why this much time is taking and then maybe if the post, a particular transport service provider is not serving better you have a freedom of changing the transport we are not going to tell you you only use this transport but uh, better to go for a safety transport rather than sometimes you know there are unauthorized transport service providers who are tr- transporting the students in the form of a small cars private cars but they are not authorized by the royal oman police whenever that rop comes for inspection near the school such type of transporters leave the children and leave the premises from there without ticking up but whereas in case of buses school transport buses that will not happen because they have the required permissions from the rop maybe only thing you have to discuss with the transport service provider if the problem is from the school side we are here to rectify that if any any problem but i don't see any problem right now at this point of time from the school side only they have their own problems but i can't get into the their problems and then address the issues i have my own limitations as a principal Thank you, sir, for taking all the questions and clarifying the doubts, and we assure parents that we made note of your suggestions as well as your queries. Uh, we will address them from our end. Ma'am, actually, my, my suggestion is yes, there sir. are quite a good number of questions are there. Let's right, take sir. the screenshot of the questions. Maybe our uh, let our IT department collect these questions. We will write the answer for everything, and then circulate to the all the parents. these are the questions which are coming from the parents so we will write answers to them yes we will address that sir okay request seema to take over thank you ma'am and thank you sir parents we have now come to the end of the orientation program thank you so much for your patient listening uh before i sign off i am seema pereira senior supervisor for classes 1 to 5 all the parents who celebrated on thursday i wish you once again happy vishu happy pehla baisakh baisakhi and bihu and i also want to wish all the parents who celebrate easter tomorrow peace and joy this easter season i now request ms suda to please propose the vote of thanks oh uh, seema you. before going to vote of thanks maybe some parents are still asking my son is in india and maybe because of the various reasons or my daughter is in india is there any possibility of uh, online classes now we are not going to give any online classes uh, this academic year complete classes will be only with the physical presence if there are any uh, exceptions or some exceptional cases who are in india maybe they can get only study material from the respective class teacher they can be in touch with the class teacher whatever the portion is happening what all we can share we can share but classes cannot be extended okay because it's very difficult for us thank you sir okay uh, i request ms suda to please propose the vote of thanks thank you seema ma'am The most beautiful way to end the success of any event is with a grateful heart. I miss Sada Pankaj on behalf of ISWK Primary and the entire fraternity of the institution. At the outset, extend my sincere thanks to the Almighty for making today's event a resounding success. Greetings to everyone. Let me begin with a very positive thought, which states the focus on giving our children the roots to grow. and the wings to fly this is the ceaseless effort from our very committed team at iswk this parent orientation session had been organized not only to brief you on the curriculum and activities for the coming year but it is also a platform to strengthen the bond between our vibrant parent community and the school faculty 
our heartfelt gratitude to you, dear parents, for joining us in this cause. It is a great honor and privilege for me to propose the vote of thanks with a very special mention of our respected principal, Mr. D. N. Rao, for being the catalyst that stimulates us to do our best. Our vice principals, Mrs. Shashikala Prabhat and Mr. Ern Sean, our supervisor, Ms. Seema Pereira, who undoubtedly are our pillars of strength, whose unstinted support always motivates us to give each child a student-centered encouraging learning environment where the students are motivated to achieve their best. My heartfelt thanks and deep sense of appreciation to all the academic coordinators of various departments for their valuable contribution and guidance for the successful presentation of aims and plans to be implemented during this academic year. We thank our loving teachers for their untiring efforts at educators who are the only people who lose their sleep over other people's kids. The presentation by the team has surely given clarity of relevant details to all present here. We owe a special gratitude to you, dear parents, for your time and efforts. You have been incredibly helpful in this teaching learning process. Kudos and congratulations to each one of you. A word of appreciation for our highly efficient IT department for their relentless support on special events, as well as ensuring smooth execution of details every single day. You are the heart of the school. As a team, we have a lot to offer to our young developing minds. The strength of a team is each individual member and the strength of each member is the team. Finally, I take leave citing a popular quote, education is a shared commitment between dedicated teachers, motivated students, and enthusiastic parents with high expectations. Alone, we can do little. Together, we can do so much. Thank you. Goodbye and all.